Hey guys, I'm Rob Richards, and on today's video for supplementsworld.com, I'll be having a look at some of the many variations of the overhead press. Now, if you're interested in learning more about overall shoulder development, be sure to check out my full shoulder workout at supplementsworld.com, where I take a close look at everything from the insertions, the origins, and really a full look at the anatomical figure of the deltoids. Anyway, on with today's video. Let's start with the overhead press. One of my favorites to do here is the clean and press. The reason I like this is, Unlike the standard version where you're standing or seated and simply just pressing the bar overhead, the clean and press brings in so many more muscle groups that really allow you to develop some great strength, power, and overall mass to your shoulders. Look, with a shoulder press, you're using a lot more muscle groups with it being a compound type movement than simply an isolation exercise such as a lateral raise. This means both the lateral head and especially the anterior, the front part of that shoulder, really becomes involved a lot as do the triceps. When we have a look in some of the other videos with more isolation type exercises, this typically means we use a lot less weight and focus really on one particular muscle head. So I recommend starting with your overhead presses early on in the workout. I've already mentioned the clean and press. For this one, I recommend doing three to four sets with a moderate weight upwards of 10 to 12 repetitions. This allows you to fully engage, warm up, and mobilize the shoulder joint, including all of the deltoids, plus some of the traps, and of course your arms, including back to help stabilize. Another variation of this is your standard seated overhead press. Now there's two ways that you can perform this. One, bringing the bar down to the front of your head, which will bring in the lateral delts and also the anterior, but also don't forget that this can be performed carefully behind the head. What this does is it pulls in more of the posterior deltoid, the larger deltoid head positioned to the back of the body. And for this one, you really need to pay attention to your form and technique. For the first variation, there's two ways that this can be performed. One with the elbows positioned forwards, which takes a lot of the strain on towards the anterior, the front part of that deltoid, and the second variation is to keep the elbows spread out. What this will do is will transverse more of that weight across the medial section of your deltoid. So really depending on where your focus is, this could dictate how you perform certain exercises. Another variation with the overhead press can be performed either with a barbell, a Smith machine, especially if you're a beginner, as this keeps you on a fixed range of motion. You don't have to stabilize the weight as you do with a free weight, but also dumbbells. With dumbbells, this can be performed through a manner of different range of motions and planes of movement, as well as performing arms together, dual or isolated. One of my favorite variations for an overhead press with dumbbells is the Arnold press. Now for this one, in a seated position, start holding the dumbbells with your palms facing forwards. As you extend the arms up, you rotate the arms outwards towards the side. As you push up, fully extending the arms and then focus on contracting and squeezing the deltoid up at the top. That really is a key component of all of these overhead presses is that by fully extending your arm, you're actually putting in a lot of the tricep muscle as well. So by keeping the arm slightly bent at the top, this allows you to fully engage, contract and squeeze the deltoids at the top of the movement. Resist that weight back down to a level that is comfortable to you. Some people allow the bar to come down towards their upper portion of the chest, others just down towards their chin. For this, this is really just based on how comfortable you feel. The main execution is keeping the form and technique so that as you extend the weight up, you're fully engaging, contracting, and squeezing the deltoids up at the top. So far, we've had a look at the standard overhead press and also performing it to the back of the head. But there's one more key variation. And for this one, it involves dumbbells, either standing or seated, and keeping your palms facing each other in a neutral position. The reason I really like doing this one is it allows you a fuller range of motion, bringing the dumbbells down just a little bit lower than you could so doing with a bar. And then as you extend the weights back up over the head, you have two choices. One, rotate your palms forwards again, or just keep your palms facing each other in that neutral position. Overall, the overhead press is a great exercise that can allow you to develop really great mass, power, and strength in the shoulders, and therefore it should be performed relatively early on in the workout. For the overhead press, you really don't need to be doing much more than two different exercises. Three to four sets at most for each exercise. And as far as reps, I recommend 12 down to as low as eight, and even six at times when you really want to get that power out, lifting the heavier weight. After you perform the overhead press movements, you can then move on and add in some more isolation exercises that we'll have a look at in later videos. 
Finally, don't forget about the many different training principles that can be employed with many of these overhead press movements. You've got things like strip set, rest pause, spot set, one of my favorites, a tricep, which can involve an overhead press movement, followed by something like an upright row and finishing off with a lateral raise. These are all great combinations that will work many of the deltoids at the same time, keeping that stress level high and the intensity without always having to lift heavier weight. For more information about any of the exercises you've seen in this video, or for further shoulder exercises and articles, you can check these all out at supplementsworld.com. And if you haven't already, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with all of our training and nutrition. I'm Rob Richards. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.